Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about Microsoft Azure Traffic Manager. Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS based solution for load balancing your application. So it can distribute the traffic optimally to service the global Azure regions and uh, it can also provide high availability and responsiveness so basically what happens is with the azure traffic manager it actually uses in the backend the dns uh, to direct the client request to the most uh, appropriate service endpoint on a traffic routing method and the health of that endpoint when we talk about the endpoint it can be internet facing service hosted inside of your azure or maybe outside of your azure let's take an example to explain how azure traffic manager works let's say you developed some application uh, which works on a counterso.trafficmanager.net and this specific url is uh, hosted in three different regions to serve from azure and uh, you wanted to improve the availability and maximize the global performance then you use the traffic manager um, for this how we do technical steps would be as a first step what we do is we create the dns uh, records uh, as a c name records uh, with specific to the eu and uh, us and asia because we try to deploy these three into three different regions and uh, then we create a profile uh, with the name of uh, contestor.trafficmanager.net with this is the high level and um, we use the performance uh, traffic routing method to across three different endpoints and uh, for the dns side we create actually c name records so that uh, it actually works so let's jump into a little bit further explanation uh, step by step so the first step would be would be the first end user try to browse the contestor.trafficmanager.net so this is where it's actually involves the dns service right once he tried to open up what happens is actually it will resolve back because the partners.contestor.com has a c name of uh, contestor.trafficmanager.net so what happens is uh, it actually in the back end it does that uh, dns name resolution and it gives the proper name so at the first step uh, we can say that it's just a querying and for the second step it actually getting the records uh, with the help of the dns uh, specific service uh, within this we use the recursive um, querying so what happens is it will just find the contestor.com uh, it will just query to the ns service for the contestor.com and then it checks for the partners.contestor.com and uh, and it actually returns a CNAME records here. At step three, what happens is it will actually forward that request, that's the uh, traffic manager dot net uh, information, uh, to uh, traffic manager. So what happens with the traffic manager is it actually sends the request for the contestor dot traffic manager dot net as a DNS record to the DNS uh, back here and then it will resolve those specific records and the traffic manager name services um, will request choose the endpoint base so again the endpoints could be your any of these like you know it, it, it depends on the health checks and also it depends on the routing methods that we defer or define so we're going to talk in a minute there are two different uh, things one would be the traffic manager endpoint monitoring other one would be the routing method so these are the two things which we're going to learn in a minute or so which has a different uh, set of uh, configurations that can be configured within the azure traffic manager when we try to configure as the endpoints because that uh, end user will have to reach any of these endpoints so how we reach and how we monitor would depends on the traffic manager configuration but this is just the uh, high level flow what we are trying to discuss here how this works so traffic manager will reach uh, any of this web uh, so it sends the back information hey you should actually go to this web app and then it will actually request that information and it connects directly uh, if really needed uh, without the traffic manager or with the traffic manager based on the configuration that we configured so that's the uh, that's how it's going to work the azure traffic manager 
with the help of Microsoft Azure Traffic Manager, uh, you have a two different options. One would be the traffic routing method, we call it, other one would be the endpoint monitoring options. And each of them will contain a different method. So if we look at the first one, would be the priority based routing. When we talk about the priority, we can have um, our primary service endpoint for uh, all the traffic and also we can uh, give the other priority for our backup in case of your primary or the backup endpoint service goes unavailable. Let's have a look on based on the priority traffic routing method where uh, you might want to have more than one failover of your uh, application so that you can serve your application for your end users directly so let's say uh, you can give the primary one as a priority one so it try to reach all the time the primary one with the help of uh, the traffic manager but what if if this goes um, failed then it will uh, you can give the failover a as a priority two and if this also goes down then it goes to the failover three that's uh, about the priority based traffic routing method similarly we can also configure weight based so you can select the weight based distributed traffic across a set of different endpoints uh, either evenly or according to your weights uh, so that you can define so the traffic route based on the weight let's have a scenario based on a weight traffic routing method uh, in the weighted traffic routing method, you can actually assign a weight for each of your endpoints. Let's say you have three endpoints here, uh, uh, backside of your traffic manager. So uh, let's say region one and region two, or maybe test A or maybe region B. So for each of them, you can assign some kind of weight anywhere from one to 1000 between. Let's see here, I gave as a 50, 50. So it should actually go the weight for 50, 50 for region A and B. But if it is degraded, uh, you can go for the value for 50 is the highest. So it will just uh, route back to 50 for the region B. And in case if this also gets uh, degraded performance, then it can go to test A. So these things can be assigned. So it's actually very useful. Uh, in terms of uh, different scenarios for example gradual application upgrade or maybe uh, allocate some kind of you know performance for your traffic to route to a new endpoint gradually increase the traffic over time to a specific um, uh, endpoint to 100 percentage and also when you're trying to uh, migrate your applications to microsoft azure you can create a profile for the both the azure and external endpoints and you can adjust the weight of your endpoints to prefer to the new endpoints another possible scenario would be if you're trying to migrate uh, from on-premises or you're trying to deploy on a some of the uh, endpoints in the cloud uh, so you can simply put uh, behind your traffic manager profile here uh, and slowly you can add the capacity in the cloud by adding or enabling the endpoints and specify a portion of traffic goes to each of the endpoints that's where you can use these specific scenarios and uh, and this is very useful in the common scenarios like uh, development and testing and also application to application communication or application aimed at a narrow user based uh, that share a common recursive DNS infrastructure. For example, employees of a company connecting through a proxy server, all that scenarios you can actually very well use this uh, weight based traffic routing method and also the performance so you can select the performance when you have an endpoint in a different geographical locations uh, and you wanted your end users to use the closest one uh, then uh, this would be the best option let's have a scenario based uh, discussion on the performance traffic routing method with this method you can actually deploy your endpoints in two or more different uh, regions if you see here i have endpoint one in the west years and also north europe and east asia so i have at least the uh, more than two or uh, two locations across the globe and you can improve the responsiveness of many of the applications by routing traffic to the location that is very close uh, close for the end users so that's where you're going to actually use so that's nothing but the closest we call for the endpoint 
but at the same time it's not every time the closest one because if you look at the performance traffic because it's not the geographic which is uh, upcoming one so this is purely based on the performance so it actually queries and it checks for the how the endpoint is responding within number of milliseconds and uh, based on that um, it would actually uh, forward the request to the closest with the fast response so it's not uh, all the time the closest but it also checks for the best uh, performance of your endpoint node and based on that it would actually uh, sense the traffic and also a uh, geographic uh, location based you can also direct the traffic to your specific endpoints based on the a geographic uh, location with the help of Azure or maybe external or maybe nested profiles uh, based on which geographic location their DNS query uh, organizes uh, from. So this empowers the traffic uh, manager uh, to the customers to load scenarios where knowing a customer's geographic region and routing them to the based on that uh, what is important for them. For example, if you take it um, uh, complying with the data uh, Soviet G mandates or location lo localization or content and user experience uh, for measuring the traffic from a different regions a geographic option for the route based uh, traffic route based method would be the right option and also you have the multi value so total there are six different traffic uh, methods so we're talking about the multi value now multi value traffic manager profile that can also have the IP version 4 or 6 address addresses as endpoint and when you query to uh, query for that specific receive for this profile all health endpoints are returned when you select for the traffic routing method for the subnet based the subnet traffic routing method to map a set of endpoint IPs IP address ranges uh, to a specific endpoint within a traffic manager profile and when you request uh, it is received the uh, the endpoint routed uh, will be to the one map to that request specific IP addresses so all these are the options that are enclosed within your traffic manager profile for the monitoring of your endpoint health and automatic endpoint failover and um, you can also look for the endpoint monitoring options when we talk about that the endpoint monitoring completely built in uh, within the endpoint monitoring and automatic endpoint failover can happen automatically so you no need to worry about that and this feature helps you to deliver high availability uh, of your applications that are resilient to endpoint failures including Azure region failures so we talked earlier about the Azure uh, scale set uh, virtual machine scale set and load balancing in a different lecture but this is your traffic prof uh, traffic manager is completely region failover also it can help you out uh, because it's purely works based in the DNS traffic and uh, when we look at monitoring you can specify the uh, traffic manager profile based on a protocol when we talk about the protocol you can configure either HTTP HTTPS or TCP as a protocol that traffic manager uses when uh, probing your endpoints to check its health and HTTPS monitoring does not verify whether your uh, TSL or SSL certificate is valid so it only checks whether the certificate is present or not and uh, that's all that's for the protocol now when we look at uh, other options for the monitoring purpose uh, which would be a port base so you can configure based on a port and you can based on a path so path is valid for HTTP or HTTPS protocols for specifying a path that is required so providing the specific uh, TCP IP monitoring results uh, path specific which will check for your HTTP HTTPS protocol gives the relative path of the name of the, that specific web page or a file that always keeps on monitoring um, with the forward slash uh, valid entry and also you have a custom header settings uh, this configuration setting helps you to add a, a specific HTTP headers to help check that the traffic manager sends to endpoints and your profile also you have the expected status quo ranges like maybe 200 or 299 or 300 or sorry 301 all that kind of you know codes can be 
configure here so that you know that your endpoint is healthy and also you can go for the probing interval so you can give anything from normal probing or fast probing so you can give either 30 seconds for the normal probing and 10 seconds for the fast probing you can specify that information and you can also configure the tolerated number of failures so this value specifies how many failures a traffic manager probing agent tolerates before making that endpoint is unhealthy so you can configure this specific setting so that uh, if the uh, range or maybe you know 0 to 9 between if 0 means a single monitoring failure can cause that endpoint marked as unhealthy and uh, you can also configure the value as uh, three which is a default value and probe timeout also can be configured this specifies the amount of the time that the traffic manager probing agent should wait before considering the check a failure when a healthy check probe is sent uh, based on that it actually reports the status as the monitoring option whether it is healthy or unhealthy and these are the options that we have uh, within the Azure Traffic Manager. So basically, we, we when we talk about the Traffic Manager, it uses the uh, DNS-based and it is a multi-regional failure can happen. And it works based on the traffic routing methods of any of these six methods. Or you can also built in, you can use the built-in endpoint monitoring options to automatic failure methods by using any of these methods so that you are... Uh, making your applications always available for your end users.